I'm going to upload this now as a template to Adobe Sign, which is our signing platform. This is an extra charge as a service, software as a service, and I'm going to upload this as a template to our Adobe Sign instance in Sydney. So I'm going to quickly log into the service and bring up the Adobe Sign interface. Now over here on the dashboard, I'm going to navigate down to the Add Template to Library. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to simply add this PDF file as a template. So quickly browse the file, come for a number of sources like OneDrive or Dropbox or Google, add my file in quite easily, give it a name, and also too, um, who can use this template? Just me, anybody in my group, or anybody in my organization. So quickly uh, set the parameters up, and let's preview and add the fields. And what we're going to do here is modify some of the fields we did in Acrobat. So first up, let's have a look at the uh, drop down that we did. So I double click on that, and I can see that all the information and all the stuff we put inside of Acrobat has been uploaded. Let's do a little bit of work on the invoices. I want to make this actually a number, and I want to set some, um, some brackets around the values entered. So you simply put those in as a 999 and four nines there, so it can be no greater than four digits. Same when we do for the amount. In this case there, I want to use as a currency, and the currency, I'm just going to set that very, very easily. So one will be a number, no more than four digits. The other will be a currency. Let's go to participant number two now. And let's have a look at the fields for my customer. Now I've got their banking details. Now this causes a problem with privacy. So we're going to use, use a function called mask field data, which is basically going to turn the data into dots so I can't breach uh, the Privacy Act in Australia. Let's make the validation a number, and in there I did a formula to make it six digits and six digits only. I'm going to do the same for the account number, so I'm going to validate that with the number, and it's going to be no more than 11 characters. So we can apply some logic in there. Now let's go through on the, all of these, and let's make the account name, uh, the bank name, and also the account number all as um, mask private data. So that means if anyone sees this document, we don't expose their personal details. Let's save that as a template into the system inside of Adobe Sign.